Hi guys, it's vocabulary time. So open up your vocab books to page 148. I had to do a double check because religion was 148 and 149 too, and I thought maybe I made a mistake, but it's just, just ironic that we're doing the same pages in vocab. Isn't that pretty cool? All right, on page 148, so we're talking about homographs, okay? So you have learned that homographs are multiple meaning words that have separate entries in a dictionary. Homographs have a small raised number after them in the dictionary. So if you look to the left here, or to the right, you have the examples of exhaust. So exhaust one and exhaust two. So exhaust one means to use up or wear out. Exhaust two, the escape of gas from an engine. So you have exhaust that could mean two different things, okay? The word exhaust, page 143, is a homograph. Look at the box above to show how exhaust would appear in a dictionary. So we just did that. Look at the chart for other homographs and their meanings. So we have bear, shed, and fine. So let's look at bear one. To support or carry to last through something. So bear one, to support or carry to last through something. Okay, bear two, a large furry mammal with a short tail. Okay, so we know what bear two is. That's that animal that is kind of scary if you ever see him in the woods, right? Bear one to support or carry to last through something. So if you bear the weight of the um, trash can, um, all right, so you're carrying it, you're bearing the weight, all right? Number, or the next one, shed. So shed one, a small shelter, okay? So shed, you might have a shed in your backyard that maybe you have like your um, shovels and rakes and maybe wheelbarrow in there or maybe your um, mower is in there. And then shed two, to drop or throw off. So if I shed off my coat, that means I'm going to take it off and just drop it where it is. Okay. Um, fine. One, high quality. So if something's fine, it's really of, of high quality. It's made really well. Fine two, money paid as punishment. So if you get a fine, that means you have to pay money to the police. So the police can give you a fine for speeding or a fine for um, breaking any of the laws that we have. Practice. Complete each sentence with a homograph from the chart. Write the number of the homograph whose meaning is shown. So on the left, I want you to write one or two. And then in the sentences, you need to write one of these words. So exhaust, bear, shed, or fine. Okay. And then at the bottom, complete each sentence using words from the chart above. All right, so I want you to use these words. And actually, you're only using bear, shed, and fine. It's not, you're not using exhaust. Sorry, that was my mistake. Um, so I want you to complete this, this page and then come back on, okay? So pause the video. All right, guys, good job. So page 148 should be finished. Let's take a look. Number one, a bear may eat both plants and insects. That is two, so you should have a little two to the left of that number one. Number two, a snake will shed its skin, and that is number two. Number three, I couldn't bear the weight of my backpack any longer, and that is definition one. Number four, late library books mean you must pay a fine, and that is definition number two. Number five, the graduation gown was made of very fine cloth, and that is definition number one, high quality. Number six, dad's tools are kept in the shed, and that is number one. All right, let's complete these sentences. Number seven, I hid in the shed to avoid the prowling bear. Good spot to hide. Number eight, dad couldn't bear the fine of 50 or sorry, to pay the $50 fine. Dad couldn't bear to pay the $50 fine. So the, that bear means that it's, it's um, a, a burden, okay? So bear, he's, he, can't, he can't carry that weight of, of paying that fine. Number nine, the dog shed its hair on mom's fine carpet. All right, let's go to page 149. Shades of meaning. So word choice. So we're going to talk about the words predict, suspect, and wonder. Okay. In the passage, Amelia Earhart, on pages 140 and 141, you read this sentence. 
Surely no one in Amelia Earhart's family would have predicted that she would one day fly an airplane. When people predict, they make a guess about what will happen in the future. They are not certain of the outcome. Good. So you guys should know what predict is. We do a lot of predicting when we're reading our stories in class. Um, I always ask you, what do you think is going to happen next? And when we predict, we use what we know, okay, and we use our experiences to help us decide what might happen. Sometimes we're right and sometimes we're not. When you know something for sure, you are certain about it. When you, when you don't know something for sure, there are words that can describe your level of understanding. The chart below shows some of these words. So predict. When you predict, you say what is going to happen based on what you already know. Suspect. When you suspect, you believe something is probably true based on clues. So if you suspect someone of taking your pencil, it might be because they have your pencil in their desk or something, right? Okay, so we're, we're basing our idea on clues that we know. Wonder. When you wonder, you think about something that you want to know more about. So you might wonder more about dinosaurs. Okay, you might wonder more about snakes. Okay, write the word from the chart that best completes each sentence. So I want you to write a word from the chart. So you're going to use predict, suspect, or wonder. Okay. Then at the bottom, answer each question. Use the word in dark print in your answer. Be sure to write complete sentences. So let's take a look at this. What is something in nature that you wonder about? Now you need to use the word wonder in your sentence. So you would say, I wonder about blah, blah, blah. But you gotta come up something with nature. What do you wonder about in nature? Number seven, what do you predict you will be doing at this hour next week? So think, it's Monday, what will I be doing next Monday? So predict something. So I got to use predict in my sentence. I predict that next Monday I will be blah, 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 okay? Number eight, what do you suspect happened to Amelia Earhart? So suspect, I suspect that blah, 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 okay? And base that that um, answer off of what you know and uh, clues that you've read about with Amelia Earhart. Okay, guys? And I want a picture of this page. So finish page 149 and send me a picture of page 149. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.